Good morning to all. I am Paul Vincent. Now I am taking a seminar about the topic Bildungsroman. It is a German term comprising of two words. Bildung which means education or formation. Roman which means novel. A Bildungsroman is a story of education. It is similar to coming of age stories. However, the characters of the Bildung's Roman are more specific in order for a novel to be considered a true Bildung's Roman the main characters has to experience some form of moral development in a sense they have to grow up the focus of the characters growth is the main thrust of the narrative in other words a Bildung's Roman is is a novel of formation education or culture and it is also known as the coming of age story the coming of age story shows the mental physical spiritual and moral growth of the protagonist usually he or she he is at the cusp of the formative years and must overcome a difficult experience or situation before growing up the first Bildung's Roman tales cropped up in the 17th century in German literature and ended on a positive note. Later in the 19th century, novel chased dreams of the hero's youth which ended after several foolish mistakes and painful disappointments. But the protagonist ended up leaving useful leaves. In the 20th century, that the Bildung's Roman story ended less happily, such as in resignation or even death. Examples of Bildung's Roman novels Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte shows an orphan who rises above misfortunes and trials by asserting herself and growing into her independence. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens is an amazing tale of one boy wrestling to find his place in society and to overcome a boyhood crush. Their eyes were watching God by Sora Neely. The Kite Runner by Khalid Husseini is the brilliant story of two friends from different social classes growing into their friendship in a tumultuous time in Afghanistan. And then the characteristic of a great Bildung's Roman story. There are thousands of different Bildung's Roman stories out there. So, although they are share similar characteristic, they will not all be exactly the same. Here, a list of the most prominent characteristics. A journey. Sometimes it is a physical journey a hero must make. But more often it is a psychological or spiritual journey of discovery. A struggle for identity. The protagonist is usually pushed to his or her limit while trying to find themselves or complete their task. A societal conflict. The hero generally finds an a societal conflict. The hero generally finds an aspect of society that rubs him or her row. And the last one is a loss of innocence. Often it takes the depth of someone close to bring about this loss of innocence and resolution. The key elements is that a Bildung's Roman start with a child or young adult whose character progress through difficulties and finishes the story as an adult. It is important to show readers how they have changed and 
it is important that readers can identify with and related to the protagonist thank you